Hello wonderful learners, my name is Ashay and today we are going to take a deep dive into the world of data engineering where we will see some of the most important as well as the trending technologies in the big data world right now which are Hadoop as well as Apache Spark. But today we are going to embark on a wonderful journey where we are going to explore what is a data engineering field and how many organizations out there are leveraging big data to take meaningful business decisions. So without further any ado, let's get into it. But before we jump into the details of Hadoop as well as Spark, let's set the stage for our exploration. So let's imagine data is the most important thing in every industry and it is like a lifeblood of every meaningful business decision and it is the force for driving the innovation. So in this course, we are not just going to become data engineers. We are going to become the architects of a data driven future. So what's in store for us? So we are going to explore all the fundamental concepts of data engineering field where we will see what is data engineer, what are their roles and responsibilities as well as what tools and technologies are needed to become a data engineer. Also, we will focus on powerful tools which are Hadoop and Spark which are like the trendy and the most effective tools in the field of data engineering today. And also we will drive the data processing in today's tech landscape and how it is changing the world and it is a vital part of every data driven organization. Also our objective for this course is to understand the role of data engineering so that we are going to see in the next topic. Also learn about Hadoop and Spark, what is Hadoop, what is Spark, how it works under the hood and also set up the development environment for both Hadoop and Spark to have a hands-on experience on both of them. But before we dive in, just a bit about me. So I have been navigating the data engineering field for about like four years and also working on several projects that leverages Hadoop and Spark specifically to process big data and convert them into meaningful insights. So my passion is not just crunching the numbers, but also empower you and others to harness the power of data. So finally, I'm really excited to be your guide on this learning journey. So what you can expect? So we'll start with why. We will understand first why data engineering matters. Then the second point will be, we'll introduce the what, which makes it the core principle and technologies in data engineering field. And also next, we'll explore the how, which means that real world use cases and scenarios. Also, finally, we will dive into doing it, which is like setting up our development environment in your local machine. So get ready to be inspired, empowered and informed. So by end of this today's lecture, you'll not only see the big picture of data engineering field, but also you will be equipped to take your first step into the practical world of Hadoop and Spark. Okay, so we have set the stage. So it's time to take a deep dive into the world of data engineering. So in this slide, we are going to unravel the layers of what data engineering truly encompasses. So before we discuss about what and how, we are going to discuss about why data engineering matters. So picture a world where data is like a vast ocean and data engineering field is really a ship which is navigating through that ocean, which means the data. So in this world, decisions aren't made on feelings but it is made on deriving through the data processing. So that's the real power of data engineering. It is the backbone of taking meaningful and important business decisions. But why does it matter to you? In this data driven world, every organization is leveraging this data and vast amount of data which is generating every day to take meaningful actions. So whether you are building a system or else making a business decisions, or solving some complex challenges. Data engineering will empower you to do it with passion. So now let's get into the nuts and bolts, which means that the core principle of data engineering. So data engineering will involve like collecting the data, transforming it as well as storing it for further analysis. And then that data can be used for converting it to some meaningful insights. So let's discuss this building blocks in details. So for example, let's say our data is coming from various sources. So here is like source one, then here we have another source, then also we have these three sources. 
so the data is coming from all these sources and this is like we need to collect this data so this data could be present in multiple formats it could be coming in real time or it could be coming in an intermittent basis and also the velocity may differ so you have to first understand the three v's of big data so i hope you already know about big data if not let's cover that as well so big data is nothing but a data which is coming at high velocity and veracity so here our data could be coming at different velocities different formats as well as on a different scale so to handle this data we need to first collect that data that is like that step 1 okay so this is the first step which is like collection of the data from various different sources which needs the integration between these two systems so that will be the first step so once we collected the data we need some tools to process that data into the required format so this data could be coming in various formats and have some raw values in it which we don't want and we want it in an aggregated form or something else we are going to see those examples as well so once we collect that data we need to transform it into the required data type into the required format so that it is usable for our end users so our end users could be like business analyst as well as data analyst which consumes the data and also write some queries and build dashboards on top of those data so if you are not aware of any of the data visualization tools and dashboards that also we will see in upcoming lectures so once you transform the data so the first step will be like collect and then we are going to transform the data so here comes hadoop as spark comes in picture so these frameworks are more suitable for handling big data which means the data coming from any various sources at higher velocity and veracity and it transforms that effectively into our required format so here comes the hadoop and spark will come into the picture so here we have hadoop and spark we have the collection system which needs the integration of these two systems so here we have integration of this and once we transform the data we need some where to store that data so this will be like a data warehouse as well as a data lake on top of which various sources various targets will be there so it could be like a power bi dashboard so power bi is also a very important tool in the big data world where we can build dashboards on top of the data also we can have like a sql platform or a analytical platform where everyone can submit sql queries on top of the data so this could be like hio where you can write sql queries we to transform that data into some meaningful insights or else it could have some tableau dashboards etc etc so this is how our whole picture of data engineering field looks like so this is like the ins and outs of data engineering field we are collecting the data from various sources so this data could be coming from anywhere so this could be coming from any sensor or any this or if they are like transactions so this can be from like sap is also a source is also a system for handling transactional data and also it could be coming from a websites like the logs so this is like a big picture of data engineering so we are going to discuss all these parts one by one in the upcoming videos as well and also on top of it we are going to also discuss the principles of etl process so etl is what we have discussed right now it is like extract transform and load so which means that this building block the first building block which is collect which means the extraction e so it is extracting the data from various sources so sensor sap system website anywhere also we are going to transform that data which is like t in etl so here we are going to leverage hadoop and spark to process that data to get that into some meaningful and required format and also the last is load so here we have different systems like data lake data warehouse any database which can be leveraged by data analyst as well as business analyst to run some sql queries build dashboard like we have given here like power bi we can have a high analytical platform 
or anywhere else like a tableau dashboard or etc etc so this is how etl process works and this is like a foundation of data engineering field so we are not going to just discuss about the theoretical knowledge we are also having some hands on experience as well so we will be building some basic big data application which will collect the data from different source systems as well as transform it using hadoop and spark and load that in hdfs or somewhere else where it can be leveraged by other systems so we are also going to get our hands dirty and build all our applications and you can also follow along to have a great and meaningful journey along the way so one thing might be coming into your mind is like why you should care about data engineering right many of you guys might be in data analytical role data scientist role or a developer or database administrator whatever it is but data engineer will empower you it will inspire you and also it will open the door to new opportunities as well